What I go on, what I go on YouTube. Welcome back to the Caribbean Globe YouTube channel. Kevin and Richard, what I go on, Kevin, no things. We're still, we're still monitoring the, the whole coronavirus pandemic. We have to acknowledge the viewers them still, because we have, we, we have to say thanks to the people and we click on this video, because a lot of videos though at the moment relating to this topic, so thank you for clicking on the video. Remember though, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video, spread the word. Richard, have some yeah. information. Well, I'm going to Jamaica. Yeah, well, I'm telling this, Kevin, the corona look for you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if you're going to come out of your door and come, and come, and come greet her or something, but corona look for all of everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but, you know, um, a store man, the Bull Bay people, them, them, them kind of get a little upset, even though them kind of appreciate the facts about the thing after they're on lockdown and people have to do them. Do. But a store I'm see. In a Jamaica star today, it's uh, uh, running out of food. Uh, one resident says that them grocery basket empty. You know, because I'm locked down out of Bull Bay, seven mile right now, and nobody can go in or out. So the article went on and saying uh, food and other necessities are reportedly running out in some of the households um, on Morales Drive in seven miles, Bull Bay. So it looked like other drive that them, them locked down, Kevin. Mm. Um, which is currently under quarantine because I think out of that side, the Irish part, them said the lady who come from England the other day and was tested positive for the coronavirus. She visited, you know, that's one of the areas where she did visit and stay quite a while, you know. So, um, a resident out there in the Amira Block um, that lives in the community was talking to the star via telephone yesterday. yesterday that she has run short of food for her family because she is unable to make it um, to the ATM to withdraw cash for one. So she can't even go to the shop because she can't reach out on the machine for her to get some cash for, for buy food because they are quarantined. So the quarantine announced seven miles Bull Bay and seven miles and eight miles on Friday night by the Prime Minister Andrew Wilness as measures to rest restrain the spread of the, the COVID-19 movement within the community has been curtailed for 14 days. So I'm under curtailment starting Friday gone um, because of because of the, the COVID-19 or the corona uh, virus. So I'm a zero thing. But she said she run out of food and she run out of money. She didn't even do a little shopping at a place. She's not even forgot to go buy nothing because our money run out too and everything you know well, so our money never run out our money still not at the bank our money still, still not at the bank but she not have access to it i'm good if you start save now yeah <laughs> but she said she need food you know she said all the food i had in my house is it cook is it is it we cook friday night because you know normally i would go downtown to the market you know, on Saturday. Right now is the last piece of lettuce. My husband and I cut up. <laughs> so we don't know how me I go manage. The woman said that there are a few shops here, but they are very low on grocery because they are they are feeding the entire community. Right now, I don't have any cash in my hand and I cannot go to the ATM because it is black. Miss Black also said that she rely, she relay her uh, predicament to a friend who attempted to carry food to the community for her, but was allegedly prevented by doing so by, of course, the military and the security and the security forces. You know, so um, not even food can come in or go out, Kevin. A zero tolerance thing. The man them say, you know, cut them off a curtail the thing totally. So you know. But that, that wouldn't prevent them from, from delivering some, some food. Yeah, but you know, the, 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 the story go on and say, um, you know, Prime Minister Olness said on Friday that care packages to include food, water, um, in some cases medicine would be delivered to the resident. Miss Black said that she has not seen any of these packages delivered to her side yet, but she understands that packages will be delivered to some parts. You know, so Maybe she just need to have some patience and wait and see and see what's going on. But when people get hungry, they're hungry, you know, man. So the government need to move fast on the thing and 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 know them other. But 
you know um i don't know if i tell people that i need to prepare for the thing um and there you go so that's the reason why people might have stuck up and think because when them locked down a community and say it under quarantine and, and you know no food then what you do exactly. government government need to provide eh? yeah um so maybe that's one of the reasons why people are stuck up but who knows but you know we're sorry for miss black and our family and i hope um some help would have come to them by now um, because that was from Friday, so I hope by now some people have come to she and our community, and um, you know wish them all the best. Though and, yeah, we we'll, uh, we'll have some we we'll have some news. I said positive news to Miss Black, because you know, we have some um, Jamaicans who currently residing in Ground Zero, the epicenter of this outbreak in Wuhan, China, and yeah. we have a video we have a video for Ron you know, right you now where. Basically, these people are, have a message, for, not, not just Miss Black in, in Bull Bay St. Thomas, but everybody in the world who maybe, maybe they have to be quarantined at the moment or they have to self-isolate or whatever the situation. These people in China right now have a message for you. So watch the video, see what I'm saying. Hi guys, we are the Shirley's from Jamaica and we are sending you this message from our home in Wuhan, China. That's ground zero to COVID, right guys? Yep. Yes, and I'm Aline. I'm Bevan. I'm Chase. And I'm Cruz. And we want you to know that in spite of the worldwide pandemic of the coronavirus, there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is hope. Wuhan has been on lockdown for almost two months now. That's just about... 52 days. 52 yeah. days. Yes, and for the first month or so, we were able to move around freely, even though most businesses were closed and there was no form of public transportation. But now, we have to stay at home all day, every day. And in spite of that, we are healthy, we're giving God thanks, and life has been good. So we want to share some of the strategies that have helped us to go through this time and our strategies are still helping us and we hope that they will help you remember now that not everything will apply strictly to your situation okay some of the things that we have done we have limited our travel outside our home mm -hmm. and when we go out we wear the surgical mask um, we beefed up our immune system with a brew that we have had from jamaica which is um, ginger, honey, garlic, apple cider vinegar, and so oranges. And yes, there, there, are trees, there are trees here in our, our apartment complex in China with so orange, and we are making the best use of them. Yeah. 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 And in addition to that, we practice good hygiene. We wash our hands frequently. Mm -hmm. Whenever we come from outside, we wash our hands, and we remind each other not to touch our face, which is hard sometimes. And we, we have been playing a lot of games inside, board games, dominoes, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, keep in touch with family and friends and laugh a lot. Yes, yes. Of course. And we want you to remember that COVID-19 is not a death sentence. So Coos can take us through some facts, right? Give us some facts, Coos. Okay, sure. So um, remember that China's population is about 1.4 billion people. That's which with is with a B. Yeah, which is nearly... 500 times bigger than Jamaica. Um, as of today, March 15, um, of the 81,048 confirmed cases in China, about 67,023 or 83% have fully recovered so far. And every day, over 1,000 cases are fully recovering. Mm -hmm. So we can definitely say that this epidemic, pandemic now, will soon be in the revenue for China. Um, a lot of the chaos in China occurred in the early stages because, because there was not much knowledge about the virus so the hospitals were overwhelmed mm -hmm. uh, but now there's a lot more information and the rate of recovery is skyrocketing so yeah, soon there will be no more cases in China Yeah, and Jamaica and other countries can now benefit from the knowledge that had been developed over these few difficult months. So I think that your experience should be a lot less dramatic than it was in the early days. 
for Ostland, for China. Definitely. Yeah. So I think, what do you think, Chase? Well, this war will be won. Mm -hmm. And it can be won if everyone plays their part. Yeah. And we can limit the spread by taking personal responsibility for our safety and obeying the instructions that the government and the authorities give us. Yeah, that's a and good point. This is everybody's fight. It is a real crisis, but how should we react to it? Yeah, yeah. How should we react? That's a very good question, Chase. One, I don't think this is a time for people to be trying to make money off of each other. Very true. Right? And it should definitely not be a time to be spreading fake news or news that do not come from official sources. It should not be a time to cast blame or practice any form of prejudice because this is a respecter of no man. And it's definitely, definitely not a time to panic. Instead, Instead what should well, we do? Personal reflection. This is a mm -hmm. good time for personal reflection. Mm -hmm. This is a good time to get closer to your family, bond with your family, spend time with them, you know, play games. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this for people who are in school, who would especially those who would have their pep exams or csec or cape mm -hmm. um this is a good time to you know spend time to revise your notes don't panic about not being able to finish the mm -hmm. exams properly um they'll be making the correct adjustments for that so yeah just view this as a break where you can catch up on anything you've missed in the past or anything you don't understand yeah i agree um we have some positives that have come out of this negative situation yes believe it or not um i think for one we have grown closer as a family unit yeah um what else guys uh well we have grown closer to god mm -hmm. like individually and yes. as a group yes yeah. nothing like trouble to draw you closer to god right um we have experienced the kindness of neighbors and strangers who have offered to help us even with the translation and getting food to buy you know um it has been phenomenal and we have gotten a lot of love from people all over right by one yes including the jamaican embassy here in china they have mm -hmm. really been supportive of us yeah and the jamaica association in china yes they've been very supportive and so with all that love and support we want to give it back we want to say to you wherever you are be jamaica or anywhere in the world we want to say yes covid 19 is here but don't fear fear yeah. god he's got this this too shall pass and pass on the love but not the germs so cooperate with the authorities we yeah. are doing, doing it, it. And, and so, so can, can you. you. One, One love. So I hope that would have bring some inspiration to you know to the Bull Bay family. Yeah. And um the world at large. You know, and the world at large too, because they had gone through it. Yeah. And they have lived through it. Well they're, and, they're still going you know, through it now. They're still going through it almost at the end, eh? Um and I hope people can just take some from your inf inf inspiration from that, you know. So there you go, people. That we have it hope we were happy to bring it to you you know to help you to get through this situation at the time but kevin nobody open your door and let in <laughs> miss corona make sure you stay all out right. the door all right remember if you share the video and remember if you hit the like button